Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable the ransomware protection in Windows 10. Um, if you don't know what ransomware is, what happens is kind of like a virus where if you get it on your computer, it will encrypt your files and therefore you won't be able to access them. And then if you want to be able to access these files, you're going to need to pay for a password from whoever gave you this ransomware attack on your computer. And if you do pay, most likely you're going to be throwing your money away because you'll never get the password. So basically you don't want to get ransomware on your computer. And even if you have like a backup drive attached, it'll go after those files too and encrypt them and you won't be able to open those as well. Even something like, you know, OneDrive or, or Dropbox, if you're syncing your files, it'll get those too. So by default, it's not enabled on Windows. And I think they do that because, you know, you might get some false positives with their detection. You know, if you have running a certain program and then maybe cause that program to crash or give you some errors. And then you also need to manually add files to be protected. So they probably just leave it up to you to turn it on yourself. So there's a couple ways you could get to it. And before I do that, I'm going to show you what you might run into. So I have this VM here, which I'm going to show you how to do it on. But if I go to my computer that I'm running the VM on and I go type in ransomware protection, it'll look like it's going to work. And then I'm going to get this page or message that says page not available, IT administrators limited access. To some areas of this app and so on and so on and this is a common problem you might run into but unfortunately there's not too many or I should say there's not a real easy fix for it some people say you need to kind of do a Windows repair and you could do a bunch of registry edits to fix it which you know you could run into other problems if you do that and also if you're running Windows 10 Pro you could run the group policy editor and enable something there to get it done which I'm not running Windows 10 so I can't show you so if you run into this problem, you're going to have to do a little research and decide if it's worth risking messing something else up on your computer just to get this to working to work. All right. So now on this computer, I'll show you the other way to get to it. Like I said, you could type in ransomware protection. But if you just go to the settings for Windows and then you want to go to update and security and then Windows security. And then virus and threat protection. You can see there's a lot of steps, so you're better off just typing in ransomware protection. And if you scroll down, you'll see the ransomware protection down here. It says no action needed. That's because it's not turned on. So if you click on manage ransomware protection, you'll see that it's off. And then once you turn it on, you'll say yes to this security alert here. And now you'll get some additional options here. So you need the block history, which, you know, it's not going to have anything here. And then protected folders. Say yes to that again. And then this will show you what folders are currently protecting you. It's usually just your documents and uh, pictures and that kind of thing. So if you want to click add a protected folder, you could do that. And then just decide, you know, what you want to do. So let's say there's not much on this computer. So let's say we want... this Google folder. So now we got that as a protected folder. And then if you want to set it up for OneDrive recovery, you could do that here if you have a OneDrive account, which you should if you have a Windows account. So that's, you know, all there is to it. So like I said, just, you know, if, if it works for you, if you don't run into that error that I have, you should be able to go in there, just type in, let's go back out here and just type in a do this in Cortana or the search box. Ransomware protection. And if this doesn't come up when you do a search, if you only get like web results, that means you have like a non-updated version of Windows, you know, super old version, and it's not going to be in there. So then you just click on there. And it'll take you right there. And then you can turn it off and on as needed. So yeah, once again, pretty simple. So it's up to you if you want to try it, because like I said, you might run into some problems with certain programs or Windows thinking certain programs is trying to, or trying to do something uh, shady and hurt your files and it might block something or cause your program to crash. So give it a shot and see if it works for you. And if you run into some issues, just come back here and turn it off. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.